covered in mist at 3,500 meters above sea level, Mount Imamuraheret stands tall among the mountain chains of Anka Bir. These mountains were once home to many ecclesiastical artifacts from Latin Europe that were curated by King Zaura Yakub in the 15th century, among which was the most venerated piece of the true cross of the crucifix. It is believed that the cross has been moved within several holy sites, including Mount Imamuraheret, until it found its final resting place in the country. After the cross left to its next residence, the first Maskelf holiday was celebrated at Imamuraheret in 1556 to commemorate the discovery of the true cross. Ever since that time, each year on September 26, the surrounding Christian community climbs the steep mountains to celebrate the holiday by burning of a large bonfire, the Mera, on the top of the mountain. According to legend, Virgin Mary, during her flight from King Herod, had taken refuge on this sacred mountain. In commemoration, a St. Mary church used to stand on the mountain for many centuries, where the Ethiopian saint Tekla Hamanut has served in. Elders claims the ruins of their church can still be found on the summit. Unlike common practice in the rest of Ethiopia, where the Demera is set on fire on sunset, the Demera here is started at midday. All the capable and devout followers who can make it up to the top of the mountain would gather around their fire, venerate the unique celebration. After the celebration, the faithful would descend from the mountain, take another difficult cliff. The downward journey is even more testing than the upward, as there is nothing to hold on to except their unwavering faith. A final Maskell de Mera awaits them once all the community reaches the bottom of the mountain by St. George Church to celebrate with the elderly and all the people who couldn't make it up on the summit. As the blazes from the fire die out, it marks the completion of the festivities. Happy Ethiopian New Year! Happy Demerit.